Hi, everybody. It's fantastic to be here. And I'm learning so much from all of you. <clears throat> this isn't really my uh, main area of research. I'm just, this is a sort of a new area of research that um, I'm just going to start. I'm, I'm just going to pose some questions. And so I'm a I'm an infrastructure scholar. I focus mostly on infrastructure. So this is going to this is going to dovetail nicely from uh, uh, Kelsey's uh, Kelsey's fan fantastic introduction to Web three as infrastructure. But what I what I focus on is I, I don't normally uh, look at um, Web three infrastructures directly, but more so the infrastructures of their infrastructures. So like you know what what are the systems and processes that need to be the case in order for um, in order for uh, Web3 to, um, to be built and maintained and operate. And I've been thinking a lot lately about what the future of storage looks like um, in the Web3 space and what blockchain storage is and what it, what it means and how distributed storage architecture, specifically like Filecoin, I've been looking into Filecoin, will impact uh, like the hard disk drive industry um, at scale. And uh, for reference, I, I, I've i written a, uh, a weird little history of the hard disk drive industry. And um, so I'm sort of building off of this and about how um, the hard disk drive industry has sort of uh, consolidated um, into two big companies, Seagate and Western Digital, that own about 85% of the market share of all digital storage in, in, the, in the world. And um, about 90% of the cloud storage in the world is hard disk drives, not solid state drives. And so we're talking 3.5 inch form factor, um, Winchester hard disk drives um, that are very similar in form to the kinds of drives that you know would come in your old gateway PC from <laughs> from like 1997. It's a it's a it's very very similar. And so like this, but this form factor has stuck around and um and is still in use today um and it's the most popular uh it's the most popular drive still used in all data centers today not ssds but hard these 3.5 inch and sometimes 2.5 inch hard disk drives so what i'm curious about is um like because it's so inefficient to store large files like like video and audio and and you know and even pictures like on chain i'm i'm uh, i i'm curious about the relation the evolving relationships between on chain and off chain data and how the how they will be felt in data center design and in disk drive manufacturing i saw a presentation that Seagate gave Filecoin um, just back in, in March. And some of the solutions that Seagate is developing for these distributed architectures are just a denser, uh, denser arrays of, uh, of hard disk drives. And so um, I'm, I'm just wondering how, how data center design and um, especially as more computing moves to the edge and becomes more decentralized how the geographies of digital storage and how the political economies of uh of like storage device like disk drive manufacturing are going to adapt to this and i i want to uh think more deeply about how the the history geography and um economics of the disk drive industry uh sort of shape what is possible for the future of Web3 storage. Um, and so I'm very interested in the uh, in what uh, initiatives like file what companies like Filecoin are doing, but I'm I I'm more interested in what is actually materially happening on the ground and how the how distributed storage and you know architectures like the it, you know the interplanetary file system are going to um if they are going to disrupt uh like the political economies of the disk drive industry if they're going to change change them at all if we're going to be moving more towards 
finally be moving more towards solid state, uh, solid state drives, um, how, how all of this is going to change because um, I don't know, these are just, uh, these are, these are questions that, uh, that I have. I'm, I'm very, I'm the web 2.0 cloud storage sort of got stuck with the 3.5 inch drive and it because the cloud came along at a at a specific time when 3.5 inch drives were were many were were being manufactured in a vault in you know in large volumes and the sort of uh, path dependencies got stuck so i'm wondering if web3 is going to maybe break those dependencies a little bit or if we're going to cont be continuing down the same path and and hard disk and 3.5 inch hard disk drives will continue to be used but i i just i i think there's uh there's room for a lot of research on uh the political economies of like distributed storage architectures and um how they relate to the hard disk uh the hard disk drive industry and like the supply chain of hard, the supply chains of hard disk drives and things like that. So I'm I'm very interested in understanding more about the changes that that Web three might bring about in this realm, and to think more deeply about um, like uh, what like distributed or decentralized digital storage looks like from a material and infrastructural uh, infrastructural level, um, and just what that what that's going to look like. I think that's it. I tried to do that really fast. <laughs>